Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is David Rubura. We are live from our AI TV headquarters down here in Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. And it has been a great week. Uh, there are so many stories that have been going on all over the world, uh, especially uh, for the issue of Uganda, or things, stories surrounding uh, one of uh, key supporters or opposition members of the National Unity Platform, and that is Kajube, Kajube Fred Lumbuye. We've heard and we've gotten reliable, reliable sources that maybe one of those names are not actually his. They're just stage names or names just used to make uh, money out there. But who knows? All these answers need... There are many questions, like I've already said on this show, that there is many questions that happen within the week that need answers. And today may not be different. We are still following up on Kajubi Freddy's story. There are a number of questions, and actually many questions that have not yet been answered by both top officials within the National Inter Platform and within the government of Uganda, not forgetting the government of Turkey. We've had several answers from different people, questions that have been going on. One, why are P the offices within the National Inter Platform, an organization today that is taking control of Kajubi's case for the opposition, having contradicting statements? Why is one part, one team within the same camp saying we have seen, we have had talks with uh, uh, one of our lawyers, and then another team says we don't have any talks, so we haven't seen him. The government says today, same story. We have, we have him in our custody. We, we have him. We've talked to the tax government. He's going to be extradited. And then the following day, we have no idea where he is. Both parties speak on the same issue, contradicting statements. Tonight, I'm joined in the studio with, again, a team of what I call the Great Four. They're from different political organizations. One from ENRM, one is just an independent-minded person, and another one is from the National Unity Platform. He's a member, he's a cadre. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining me, uh, Richard M. Kassa, Richard M. Yombia, and Apollo. Uh, I want to thank you guys for, for joining me again in the studio. Uh, for, for whatever reason, we are, we are still working on the issue of having women to join us on this, pla on this show, uh, but mostly we're going to be having them via Zoom uh, or our other different softwares or platforms so that we can always engage them in our discussions. But for tonight, I want to thank you for being part of the show. You and I are asking the same questions. Why are there many contradicting statements on the issue of Kajubi Fred? A man who has been so also controversial, attacking the government, at the same time attacking cultural institutions. A man who has been speaking truth for some and lies for others. These questions that need to be understand, understood today are the reasons why we're here again here on the Epic Front, live from our headquarters down here in Boston. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to give you any opportunity today to greet our, our viewers. I, I know the stories have been going on so much. <coughs> and, 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 and Richard and, 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 and Apollo, uh, you guys have been having different discussions. Actually, to our viewers, before I came on the show, we had a very tough debate <laughs> before the show started. I hope these guys are not going to keep on uh, raising the same issues or they're going to come up with the same issues. But I want to thank you so much, guys. Um, let me start mm. with you, Richard uh, uh, Mukasa. Yep. You're a very strong supporter, and I know lately your camp is so happy that, uh, well, he's been abusing the president, he's been abusing what, we, now the government is doing an amazing job, taking him down. Uh, we know, but your government is full of lies. Since 1986, the government has been making promises, and even on this last moment, the government is still lying that we have somebody they don't have in custody. Well, how are you, you going to de defend that to the people of Uganda? Okay, you're talking about lies. And you're talking about since 1986. And you are not specific about the lies. I got news for you. <coughs> what are the news? Let me talk to the audience first. Uh, audience, uh, my name is Richard Mkasa, an RM supporter uh, with no apologies. I am here to tell you that uh, the moderator talked about lies. Yeah, nope, we don't, we don't lie. We, sometimes we say stuff 
and the stuff we say sometimes does not happen. So in this instance, if you say we are lying, I got news for you, where is he? Do you know where he is? Yeah. If we, you don't we, know, we, listen, we, we, hold on a minute. If yeah. you don't know where Mr. Lumbia is, but hey, if you don't know where Mr. Lumbia is, the minister said the guy had been arrested and we we're hoping to receive him here anytime. Probably he's still with the Turkish authorities. Probably he's in, he's in uh, custody in Uganda. You don't know. So you can't call that lies. The, the, the jury is still out there. <coughs> Nobody knows where he is. If he knows where he is, if you know where he is, can you produce him? If he knows the noob guy, because right now we know he's a noob guy. They've been telling us, uh, they denied him at first, but now we know what is going on. He's uh, a noob functionary. So no, that's the kind of people noob has. Right. So we are not surprised anymore. Sure. So mm. I want to I thank you for, for your submission. It's a party of uh, hooligans. <laughs> yeah. Richard, Richard M. Yombi, I want to bring you in on that same issue. Uh, the number of allegations have been going on that uh, one in your camp, uh, there are videos that have been going on, not just out of the blue, but one of your top officials coming out straight away to tell the public that they spoke to a lawyer and the lawyer guaranteed them that he knows or he knew where, for this case, the culprit was. He knew where Kajui Fred was. And he asked people to contribute money close to $70,000. Such an amazing job. The following day, we have known seen him coming up to do a video to defend what he said the day before. It's now one week past from last weekend when he promised you guys that we're going to meet the lawyer and go and see where Fred was. We haven't seen any video yet. What we do know is some other top officials have left, uh, went to went to, to Turkey, and up to now, the answers are still in this space. Well, how, are you, so, how are you gonna defend that test? Uh, uh, well, people are viewing us uh, right now. Good, good afternoon or good morning or good evening, our viewers tonight. My name is again Richard Miyombia. First of all, let me tell you, in Noob, it's a people's organization. You can enter in, you can get out. Those that are opposed to seven decided to enter Noob, including me. When Honorable Bozake went to Turkey, this man, Fred Rumbi, comes from his constituency. He went to defend him as a guest of good faith and to show the people of Mithian that it really cares because he's a, a true card of the Noob people or the Noob organization. When he goes to Turkey, he comes out and says, look, you people, I've spoken to the lawyer who is a good lawyer who is going to help us do the following. We all know what lawyers are in a diaspora, like here in America. I can do this. If we need to do this, we can do this. If the man lets them down and then they get another one, it's okay. It's normal. The issue we want to know is no longer is Lumbuye alive? Is Lumbuye dead? Is Lumbuye in Uganda? Is it going to be produced in the, in the courts of law? Is the international community concerned? Because Lumbuye, all the people that were with him totally agreed that he was hijacked, open daylight, okay? Open daylight. And I want to say, no, 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 I want to before, before, be, before I uh, open daylight, right. does it concern the Ugandan community? Does it concern the Uganda government? Does it concern the international community? Those are the answers that we, we need to analyze and see because Lumbia is a Ugandan. He's not a Turkish uh, citizen. He's a Ugandan. What happened to him? All right. Those are the thank things that we, we need to you, analyze uh, now. Yeah, sure. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the viewers out there are also asking the same question that I'm asking you guys right now. Uh, what could be the difference? What could be, what changes can we make in the recent past? But the number of questions, and, and I want to bring you up, uh, I know you've been following these stories uh, for quite a long period of time. Uh, there is this new narrative of uh, people contributing money to solve a problem. And, 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 the government, and, and the people out there are willing to in put in this money out there to solve the problem, to solve the challenge. Here's the problem. There are hundreds and hundreds of Ugandans in Ugandan prisons who were arrested during the last campaign 
that we have not seen such a massive fundraising like we saw with Fred Lumbi. What's your opinion on, on when that uh, situation like that happens? Um, uh, I just wanted to um, to um, to say uh, to our viewers, uh, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching us from. I uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, I should have not been dragged in this kind of nonsense of Rumbuye, uh, this gone. Um, I had prepared myself not to talk about him uh, because um, uh, I, I always want to concentrate on national issues and concerns. Uganda has a lot of problems. Uh, it's not just an individual stuff, you know. It's good you asked me a question of... Right. Um, why they are collecting money for this guy and there are so many people guys who are they they said they were in struggle who are still in prison right i know even uh, a number of uh noop guys were arrested before even the campaign even the the, the elections they're nowhere even to be seen i don't think I don't know whether these people really use their mind or their common sense to show Ugandans what is going on. If you cannot fight for those who were even around in that kind of scuffle, because we saw the campaigns was a scuffle. Many people are beaten, many people are, their nails were pulled out, many people were knocked down by patrols, and these people put their bodies there. If they are still suffering in a prison and you wake up in the morning and you say we are collecting money for a no sense man, even when you ask people, these people, what was he saying? They cannot even narrate whatever he was saying. So I even wonder. Now, this is where, we, uh, where things are going. Uh, national Confuse the platform that is national unity platform. No, it's, it's an organization that is very recent in the politics. But it's full of he has a right it, to it, call it, it whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a confused it, fella. It's it, like a national. I, I, I want to stop you guys. Opinion. I want to stop you guys for, for a second. Mm. You have a right to speak, yes, right? Sir. But you have to respect others too. So if we say that it's okay for others not to abuse, then it's not okay. Uh, it's you. not abusing. If you can, that's the same question you asked me. If you can leave people who are in struggle, suffocating, dying in prisons, and you're collecting a lot of money. How, how much dollars I had? It was even beyond amount of the money that can that they are trying to get a, a international lawyers. Chief, there is a narrative I want to remove. Yes? Ho, ho, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, it's really uh, putting down those people who are in struggle down that we are not cared for. We put our bodies there. We, 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 we left our homes. Our homes doesn't know even where we are. They have parents. They have kids. Like Mubiru. Where is Mubiru from today? Let's talk about that. That is national concerns. National. Before even we cross the borders. Richard, I want to bring uh, you yeah, in. Yeah, I want to correct, uh, you... correct the narrative being created. We do not arrest people uh, summarily. We do not prosecute people summarily. Anybody who was arrested during the elections, before and after, must had had probable cause. If there is probable cause, they produce you in court or they take you to court. So anybody who is not produced in court, Noop has many lawyers, DP and the FDC. They produce what they call a habeas corpus, so that this person must produce be produced in court. So many people have had their habeas corpus produced in court, and the court has said, I remember the people who killed, who, who, who killed uh, Katumba's daughter. When they were arrested, the government had a lot of interest in them. They had to interrogate them and keep them. And they said four of them were di died during the operation. Do you know what government did? The, the lawyers, the so-called fake lawyers, what they did is they went to court and they, they said, okay, we want our men, our relatives to produce dead or alive. And the dead bodies were produced in court and the death certificates and 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 the, the other people who were not dead were produced in court. Right. So, uh, so if murderers 
can be produced on a habeas corpus. Murderers, proven murderers, terrorists can be produced in court. How about this? Just a simple. All right. Uh, hold guys, on. guys, guys, hold I want to thank later. you. I, 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 have a, I know Muyomba wants to we'll yeah, comment because, about uh, this, uh, but uh, let uh, me say this. Yeah. If, if uh, our uh, technician can put us the pictures mm. of how people mm. who were murderers, mm. uh, when I'm talking about noob guys, I'm not talking about murderers. Yes. They have never killed anybody. Yes, I agree. The way they were bringing them to court, I agree. Two lorries, trucks of military police. Mm. What's wrong with that? Tied with all chains, we, hands, legs. There was legs. nobody with chains. They were on hand. We have footage. Can you idea. bring the footage? They and you see, I, I wanted to first. And, and, you, see, uh, uh, and you see, and you see, people, people mm. who are murdering great men, people in in the country, mm. how they came to court. Mm. You can wonder where is this government? No, what th that's this government? Right, guys. I want to thank you. I saw. I, listen, I wanna, no, no, no. no listen, I'm not going to give you I that. I saw chance. no people singing songs coming from the lorries. Oh, if you are in chains, how can you start singing? Oh, I want to thank. And then you are raising oh, your right, fist sure. and, and Richard, Richard, that. Richard, that's Richard, a lie. I want to just bring produce the the, the, the the pictures. I Richard, want to see them. Richard, I want to thank you so much for your thank submission. You. Uh, yes. I want to thank you. But Richard, I want to get back to you since you're close to me here. These questions are not just mere questions. There are some things that need to be added here, especially for you guys in National Inter Platform. I'm not saying you're a spokesperson for the organization, but you do represent a big faction of those people who have like minds like yours. It, it, there, there, here's a situation. Your organization fronted two different camps, or no, fronted two different teams to come and present information to Ugandans about the case of uh, Fred Kajubinumbuye. One camp says, we saw, we have a lawyer who talked to him, who saw him. And that's the reason why we're raising these funds. And another camp says, same, same, same camp, different teams, says, we do not know his whereabouts. An organization like the National Inter Platform, strong in the country, second biggest organization, could not sit down and organize itself and put out one camp or one team to go and take care of this matter rather than two different officials. I'm talking about uh, Honorable Francis Zake and the, and the legal team of Noob failing to come together for one cause. What kind of, what does that show to the public if you okay. guys were in, in leadership? Okay, the for, for the, the first thing here that is your concern or someone's concern is the money. The money is donated on a voluntary basis. That's none of your business. It is. You don't have okay. to misuse it. Okay. The second thing here is, is these the things of Lumbuyi. Instead of saying he's here or is here, what is to be done to rescue him? Because his life is in danger. You know what is, uh, has been done to Ugandans that have been no. uh, kidnapped in Uganda we and don't been know. killed? We don't know. Okay. Now, it's the second thing, what is to be done to save his life? I'm going to give you an example what is to be done. The first thing that it has to be done because the people of Uganda that are in the diaspora are, are, have risen up to demand his lead. The first thing is the pressure they are putting on the mass continue. But last week I told you something that's very important that we have to do, which is very, very difficult, is to have a unity organization in the diaspora, which I could name the Ugandan in the diaspora, in the diaspora, national, oh, Ugandan in the diaspora, national political council that could involve all people that are involved in the struggle of the liberation of Uganda, including volunteers. Right. If you're a member of the council, right now we could be writing an official letter or a, a petition to the United Nations because Lumbuye was kidnapped in Turkey and he, he might be uh, uh, no, no, okay, no 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 I'm talking no no I'm talking that's okay we, 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 oh, that's a yes okay we, 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 yeah, I agree with you that's what I, I agree with you because now is it, now is it because if the minister of foreign affairs agrees of, of the statement he made yes then the Ugandan government with the officials of the Turkish government must produce the way about but this but, man. but let me ask you this question no 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 let me, let me ask you this after question. he's produced after the letter is produced right all the way about are produced right the second thing they have to do ugandans in the diaspora <laughs> is the state the state department of america petition the state department of america because if you ask the turkish government and they don't have record of this man a high profile uh broker who, whose life is in danger and the ugandan government denies him 
but he he, he was in one of their hands. So how is that? They, they, they must uh, someone must know, come up with like, a statement. Just like because I, you're, 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 you're not going to kidnap people. There's a lot of innuendo. Like so and it ends up in a dusty guy. Okay, okay. Just just give me just give me a second. I want to ask you No, just just a second. Just a second. I want to ask you, Richard, before you bring that in. How is United States of America involved mm. in involved this? in this in a situation between Turkey and, and Uganda. Uganda? No, no, no. Because what has American, you, you, American government has a strong hand in, in the influence of the world. If they write a letter, that is, or they give a hand. No, I'm not. Okay, 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 I'm the one speaking. You speak. Ignorance. You speak on your that own because ignorance. you are defending a government. There is what they call internal affairs. Why don't they care about the millions in Congo? Uh, in you people, Congo? you, you, you are, I, I, I don't people. want to be rubbish on this no, television no, talk show. No. These people are defending right. a government. Guys, no, you have no right. We have a right to defend Let me ask what you think no. is true. Okay, is your okay, now, now, let me finish. Let me finish my submission. I'm asking you something. No, 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 let me finish my submission. What is to be done? Right. What is to be done, that is number one. The second thing that has to be done, for Rumbi to be released. I'm going to give you a working Who example. cares about Rumbi? In 1985, a friend of mine, the late Lieutenant Colonel Serwanga Rwanga, right. was kidnapped by the, uh, the, the ODM government, the, the Rutwa government, as he was crossing the border between Uganda and, uh, and Kenya. Kenya, right. He was one of the high-ranking members of the national resistance, not only movement, but also army. He knew all the whereabouts of Museven, all the secrets. This man had all the internal knowledge. He's one of the most trusted men that Museven used to trust. Right. You know what happened to Museven? The high command that sat gave an order that they should hijack a plane. A Ugandan plane was hijacked in their space going to Arua. Right. And it was diverted to Kasese. You know who did it? Winnie Bianima and other people. Winnie Bianima was not a fighter. She wasn't even involved. Okay, which was Winnie Bianima that it smuggled in the guns that hijacked the right. plane. Now right. I'm telling you, that's in to capture, to that's capture. In okay, I wanna, to, well, no, no, let me finish. I, uh, to capture in international, I, I wanna, oh, yeah, no, no, exactly. to capture international. Take me back to that. Yeah, yeah to, to capture the international that's uh, in people window, into in the window. issue of, of Uganda to release Sewanga Rwanga. Right. These people demanded that this man should be released unconditionally, That's of which the Utah government agreed to do. I wanted to ask him because now, if you say that Museven is going to kidnap people in Turkey that are talking against him, and no one is supposed to ask him, but for him, for him when he was fighting in a bush show, he was able to hijack a Ugandan plane. All right. So I wanted uh, to ask him now because right, other so people that I are still fighting I tell you. And I'm asking, why did he uh, do that? That's what we ha has to be done right I now. I don't want to show. Has to I be ask. Force All right. That, that has to be shown to the international committee Chairman. and to Museven Mr. himself. Mr. Mr. Richard, I want to thank you guys. Minutes. All right. Mr. Mr. I want to bring you in. Mr. Mwamba, I'm just posing a question. What did the U.S. government did to a, a citizen of theirs that was killed by Saudi Arabia in Turkey? Nothing. He, he had a green card. Not a, he was not. Yeah, a yeah. He was a but permanent resident. But he was resident. killed. Oh, but he who was, was a resident? Resident. What who, happened? Who was in If they failed to do that, if they failed to do that, and they're bringing the nonsense of Rumbuye, that the United States government should enter in that nonsense that you need to go to the hospital. Let's look at this. I don't want to close this before we get. To, to the bottom of it. Uh, uh, Richard, I, I want to ask you this question. Uh, isn't the government responsible to take care of its citizens, even yes. those who are outside of it? Yeah. Uh, why is the government coming up to give these lies that they have somebody in custody or he's going to be taken back to the country mm -hmm. and yet they're not sure? On top of that, on top of that, these are Ugandans who get information from a foreign minister representing the country. This is one of the strongest diplomats in the country. Tells. And he comes out, calls the media houses, tells the public lies mm. that a man is going to be brought back to the country mm. without confirm confirming that they have him Can I in, speak? In Can I defend Please. my minister? Did he give you a timeline? He did. What did he say? He said he's going to be back in the country in the morning. No. He yes. said he yes. didn't say morning. He said, oh, no. he said no 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 no. He never said in the morning. In the morning. He, no. He I, will I, be I, no, in the morning. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't Can want, I speak? Can you give me please, a chance? Please, because, because you asked a, me. He's, he's no, 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 no. You asked me, give me a chance to answer. Here's my problem, Richard. No, there's no problem. I don't before like I answer lies or that. Moderator, sure. before I answer, All right, there's no please, problem. Sure. Listen, the minister told you that they have they got him. 
the Turkish, they are working with the Turkish authority to get him. Bye. No, hold on a minute. Right. We expect him any time. Right. Okay. He did not tell you tomorrow, tomorrow morning. He said any time. You can just run the, the passage. One of, one of the no, things that... No, he said any time now. What? Now, if you, you can... Listen, if you can confuse any time with tomorrow morning, you, all you put words in the minister's mouth, that's one of, your problem. One of the things... He said we one expect of, one him of, in one the, of country. the things Now, like about to ship. add to, to, to the minister's uh, defense, he said any time. Not only that, we if you guys know where he is, then you know the minister is lying. So if you say the minister lies, the government is lies, you are the one lying because the minister never told you the time. He said any time. Now, if he says any time now, means from now onwards. That's what. Two, if he tells you, this is what the minister. If the minister tells you, we, we, listen. If you don't know where he is, and the minister told you we have him, so you can ask the minister where he is. You said. You 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 you'll get him any time now. That means from the Turkish let, let me authority. Be, let me let me be exact. Yes, let me be exact, exact with you. Yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, my producer may not be having that. Let video, him run that, the tape. Uh, that that clip. Yeah. Uh, but he said by between by around two something mm. he would be in the country. Nope. He, he would be in the country. Any yeah, that's time now. I, I, I'm sorry because I did not uh, talk to my I producer to, to I, produce. I, I to can run it here. I, I, I have YouTube. I have but, YouTube. But, but, but I'm sure next time we'll do it. Yes. But, but guys, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for raising all these issues. The reason why we are actually, uh, to, to our viewers, the reason why we are we are focused so much on Rumbia's case. It's not because Rumbia was uh, one of the strongest people in the world, but because his case is known, is unique. His case is unique, not just to him as an individual, but to many people in the diaspora. The young people, the young men and women who are struggling to see that maybe the country gets justice. The, country, the young what people, kind of justice? The, the young people in the country what kind get, of justice? get the freedom they need. What kind of the freedom, freedom to speak? They the speak. freedom to air out their views. This is how dictatorial got. This is on record. And I want to say. What's on record? Sir? The, wait a minute. Yes. It, this is going to be put on record. And yes. I want to say. It. Yes. This is how governments start to intimidate people mm. over time. Mm. I'm not saying this as a moderator right now. I'm mm. saying it as a human being. Mm. That governments, the dictatorial governments, mm. start like this. Like what? To intimidate people yes. known to speak against them. Yes. Now you are making a statement. You are taking And it's going to be put on, on a minute. I'm, Listen, I'm you, you're a making a statement. Yes, and, you are and, taking a stand. Here's my point. Hold on I, a minute. I, you are Richard, taking give a, me a stand. Second. Yes. I moderate this show. Okay. And I, and I, and I said it. Yes. It's going to be put on record. And I have to defend that stand. That government yes. start like this. Mm. And intimidating people. Mm. Before you know, all mm. of us are going to be taken back to the country because mm. they don't want anybody who speaks against their atrocities, the mm -hmm. cousin people. But mm -hmm. let's leave that aside. Mm. Let's get back to, no, to the business. I, I, can I, I cannot <laughs> allow giving, that to fly. I, I'm not giving no, it. I, <laughs> you, I cannot allow that kind of nonsense to fly. Listen to me. I'm, if somebody commits a crime, right, they have a right to work with the Turkish authorities to have him extradited. It All has right. nothing to do uh, with intimidating anybody. Let me, if Mr. Rumbuye committed a crime, let me, and the government of Uganda said he has 18 crimes. Let me let me play for that you. Was let, me, let me let me let me let me uh, within within two minutes. I'm yes. gonna play for you the the, the video that was uh, I'll, I'll uh, get it. the clip that the minister said. But within okay. let, me, uh, let me tell let, you. let me uh, yeah, Richard, let, let, take let, it me, let tell me tell our viewers tonight. Right. Today we are crying. We are in a liberation struggle for so many years for our country, which is backward. And a lot of people have been killed from the days of Idi Amin. Lies. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make a prayer to our honorable, or our president-elect, Chagulani. When you get to government, make sure you put me in that government. Because as long as I live, and God lives, like Eichmann, Adolf Eichmann, that was kidnapped in Argentina and brought to you to, 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 to Israel for to stand trial. The way you are Every person you that is kill killing people? people in Uganda don't you because see? they think that they are in power forever. When I get there, uh -huh. when I get there, going to God, give to... God give me a chance. No, after the trial in courts of law, I will sign there this one. I, I have seen. I promise it to God before the Lord. All right. No, no, no. This is no other. Because you people, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you people are very happy. In government. We shall get into government. You will never we shall get into our government. dead bodies. This you will never get okay, into dead okay. bodies. Okay. Okay. Shall get into you will never get into government. This nonsense must go. Because you kill our people. And not only that.
you are here. You are Uganda is one of the most peaceful countries in the world. I want to thank you. And you are here walking I, I am, overseas. Yeah, uh, walking does not peaceful. mean... Yes, it's peaceful doesn't mean... Because you are paying. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, uh, be, the problem you are, with you... You are, you are paying the because problem with people you, are dying on the street. The problem with you, that's why you don't have supporters. Noob. You are very few because you achieve everybody. The day easy. will come. The day will come. Alright, guys. I want to. Tomorrow will never come. I want to thank, never come. I wanna wanna thank you. I'm sure. I'm sure our viewers out there may not be interested in having, in seeing, in watching us uh, fighting over uh, some of what I call minor issues. Crazy. But instead, we should focus on the key issues that are affecting Ugandans back in the country, and of course, here in the United States or even other parts of the world, Ugandans are being affected in one way or the other. Right now, we remember. So, uh, Katokajibi was also house arrested back in the days just because he spoke against the government. And he was and, released. And, and, and because of international pressure. No, uh, people no, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, listen to me. Katoka Jubi what had the, issues. R Richard, listen I, to I, me. Give me a chance you can, to, uh, no, hold on a minute. Uh, I do not let false stories uh, fly. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Richard, do Richard, not let I false still, stories uh, fly. Okay. I, Katoka I, I, Jubi I, I has think, his issues. He went to General Electric Plant with Kabuye. They went out there. They issued statements which were not in... They were, those statements okay, no, were so bad. Listen, listen. Listen, our listen, government listen. just let's say uh, Mr. Kachuka you, you can go history. but don't talk about pressure History, no his, pressure. History, they history, let him go history, after history. they investigated his statements and they history found that his statements us. History tells not us. good. History tells us. Yes. At one time, uh, one of the former spokesperson of the police, uh, that was Emilian Kaima, mm. came out broadly and said the people in the diaspora, we shall also come for you, mm. regardless of where you are. Yes. The, that's on record. Yes. It, uh, what does that mean? That anybody who speaks against the government... No. It depends on what you speak. You can say, we are going to kill you, so and so and so. If you say that... Anybody. Any listen. Anybody. Even if it's the United States government, Anybody. you cannot stand in Guatemala. All right, all right. Hold on a minute. I want the people to know. You cannot stand in Guatemala so I wanna, I wanna and thank you say, you. I want to kill so and right. so. so I'm sure. A US uh, That's why the U.S. killed me, Osama bin Laden. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Let me ask my That's producer. why the U.S. is assassinating let me, let me, so many people. I, I want to show drums. you. I want to show you. Why is the U.S. government doing that? I wanna, I, because you are threatening U.S. citizens. You cannot threaten Ugandan citizens and a, a responsible government lets you go we'll get away with it. Richard. If you don't, if you don't mm. give people time to speak, no, I cannot let the, the no viewers fly. will not listen to you. you Neither will time. people okay. respect my time you. Is gone. All right, let me ask my producer to play you the clip of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yes, let's play it. With some noises, I cannot let right. go. Let me. So anyway, anyway, uh, my producer asked me that uh, he's still working on it. Uh, but, but the reason why I played that, I asked for that for that video, mm -hmm. is because I want you to see by yourself. No, don't talk the for the errors let you it have. Talk for, listen, let's go on another People, topic. Let it talk no, for itself. No, we cannot. No, let it talk for I'm, itself. I'm not, I'm not gonna let it go because I want. No, let it talk for itself. Exactly. Yes, I'm being vindicated. No, no, no. Listen, I was vindicated. Listen, listen. I think that my, my producer not give me the video. No, that I, I was vindicated. saying we don't <laughs> we'll know if he was evidence. arrested. We'll get so the video. How can later. somebody who said but we don't know if he was arrested? How can he say he's coming to me? All right, uh, uh, David, there, there are some know, other issues we have. All right, we have some other things to talk about. All right, guys. So I want to thank you anyway. I want to thank you Those so kinds much. of lies never uh, fly. My, my friend is going to get me an, uh, the video I need, and then we'll play for yes, the viewers to watch. Yes. But I want to thank you guys uh, regarding uh, issue of. Lumbuye. The reason why we spent most of our time to our viewers on, on this issue is because uh, the number of things that have been developing through this, a num number of cases that the government has not given attention, even the people within the opposition, the number of lies that have been going over and over that are leaving Ugandans asking questions, are we safe or not? What next? But let's leave that for a second. Let's go back. Let's get to the on, issue on, of, of, of COVID-19. Uh, there's something I wanted to talk about, something uh, very important. David. Sure. Let me give you a second. Yep. If you look at Judith Nabakova, the Minister of Lands, he, he gave out a statement, very good statement that concerns even our land friend here that don't care about the issues of Uganda. He said all the private land owners in Uganda, they are going to pass a law, the government of seven right. The Chagulani way of doing things about the law, the land in Uganda, was totally a good way. That if you have land that is idle, the government in the area right. is going to borrow it or not more than two year lease. 
where you are going to put things that are not permanent. And if it's idle and you need it developed, it will give, bring you an investor where right. you are going to, you yourself and the investor are going to develop the land into an industry or any other thing. The Museveni's way of doing things by force is saying, no, I'm going to confiscate the land without compensation. Then you are going to meet the money on a district or in a treasury somewhere. I don't know if you people have land somewhere in Uganda that you are, you are not concerned about these issues uh, that Museveni is doing. I don't know. You, you, I, let, let my land frame. I don't know uh, whether the moderator will turn into land. No, no, right. no, 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 right. no, no. So, uh, this is go, a very important go on, issue. Go on with the program. All right. <laughs> this is a very big issue. Right, guys, I, because I, I now we are you. diverging into no, 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 land no, no, issues. No, 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 no. This is what? a big issue. I, I want to I thank you so much, uh, Richard. The reason why I, I have, said it, I appreciate it. Do you agree with the government, Museveni's government that you are defending? I want to Thank you guys for, 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 for showing up on the show today. Uh, I'm unfortunately I'm, I'm going to have to cut it short today <laughs> because my producer asked me to do it. Uh, but the most important part, uh, regardless of the other discussion we had to talk about, was uh, the issue of uh, COVID-19. Uh, many people are still dying, but we, we, the good thing is that now the country is open and people are now back in business. But most importantly, the government did not have a straight plan on how people are going to be improved financially or on how the financial status of people is going to be improved. Look at look here. We are living in the United States and there is a lot of money we know that oh United States produces money and all that. Uh, but the government didn't have a strategy. We, we have seen arcade owners chasing uh, traders from their from their shops saying, well if you can't pay the past month then we cannot move on. Uh, Richard, I'm only giving you just you this opportunity to explain, defend that. When people are losing businesses, people are so poor. Government is hiking taxes and it cannot even come out. You are out. eating the time. Can I talk? The government cannot come out mm. to defend and help the Can poor I people. Are you the suffering? one giving yourself a time? Yeah. How are you going to defend that? Okay, this is how I defend myself. The primary duty of the government is to take care of its people. No, that's the primary Listen to me. Don't put words in my mouth. The primary function of the government is to keep the lives and the property of its people. Number one is life. So once we kept the life, we kept Ugandans alive, unlike the United States government, where we've seen some people refuse to be immunized despite the fact there's a glut of vaccines. Life without food. No, it doesn't matter. You are alive. Life but the US food. citizen are dead. The US, the moment you are alive, it says life and property. So once life is protected, then we go to, pro to property. Now, the government has put aside 200 billion <coughs> shillings to take care of the uh, small small SMEs. The small SMEs. They're all gonna get interest-free loans to get back to business, okay? So, uh, government right. has decided uh, uh, that the, the arcade owners have their problems with banks. So they are thinking, okay, if the arcade owners, I have a loan in Uganda. That's Hold on a minute, I have a loan in Uganda on my property. I was given a certain amount of money. The bank, equity bank, my bank, I will mention it, gave me a rescheduled my loan. They gave me a six month moratorium so that I may put my house together. And many people's loans have been reconstructed. So, and remodeled. There is remod remodeling and reconsideration of so many loans. All right. So, that's what the government has done. Can, can, can I make a second? I'm not going to give you any no, second. No, no, one minute. Can I, uh, can I, can I, I, I want to thank you. Uh, I think uh, in a couple of things that will be worked on by my producer. We have had uh, numerous uh, uh, questions and, and suggestions and ideas from, from our viewers. So, I'm sure the producer is, uh, is he or she, the, our producer is taking care of all that and i want to thank you so much uh for always watching the epic front <laughs> you guys i'm not going to give you any second anymore to talk to you so i want to thank you uh but let's close the show i always give my closing statement what show is this we have had <laughs> so many things over time the arguments and everything that has been going on today I want to leave this with you, our, our viewers. Do you really think freedom of speech exists? And what does it entail? Responsibility. If, war, if those we defend say we need the freedom of speech, and those 
that are defending them are also abusing freedom of speech, then what is freedom of speech? Have a good week. Thank you.